I very firmly believe that really interesting things happen at the intersections of two different technologies. And one of the intersections that seems really ripe for investment right now is the intersection between organic and inorganic materials. A lot of people talk about bioelectronics. I very deliberately don't say that because invariably when I say bioelectronics to somebody, they tell me about electronics for bio purposes. But I want to step back from that and think about how biology can help in this electronics world. How can I use biology to either solve fundamental problems that I have in the microelectronics space or how I can use biology as a disruptor to the microelectronics space. This is a field that I think is out there in the research community, but it's really at its infancy, which I think makes it a super exciting time to come and try it out and see if it works. That's why DARPA is the place to take this on. It's okay to be wrong if what you do creates the next revolution, even though your hypothesis was not strictly correct. The learning that you do here is gonna propel research into a direction where things are really going to matter.